But let's dive in. I just want to congratulate you on Where the Crawdads Sing. I mean, I love this movie so much and the books. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Yeah, it's been a it's been a wonderful ride, and I'm excited to uh, continue on that journey. And it's nice to to hear all like the you know wonderful thoughts from people about it. So thank you. Yeah, and your character Tate Walker. I mean, looking at him, he's sweet, kind, caring, protective. So I mean, I'm sure you could relate to many characteristics with your character. But how would you say Taylor as an actor, Tate challenged you? I think there's a like in everyone there's a natural kindness, but finding that in in the moments uh, and like his his sweetness and his his dotiness, finding that in the moments that aren't on paper um, uh, was kind of a a challenge in itself because you're trying to remain true to him while also like putting a piece of yourself into the character. Um, so just keep, keeping his essence in the back of my mind throughout it was uh, was like a constant struggle. Not that we're so far removed from each other um, that it was a an issue, but it was just at the forefront of, of your mind at every scene of like how can I emote this um, this character and bring the bring the soul of him to to screen. Absolutely. And, you know, some of those things I just named of him being sweet, kind, caring. I mean, we see this with Kaya and I love Tate and Kaya's relationship in this movie. But how would you describe this relationship to the viewers watching this? I mean, at the beginning, it, it really is like your first true love. Um, you're trying to figure out the other person. Meanwhile, you're also trying to figure out yourself. And I think what's so great about Kaya and Tate's love stories is that they really hold room for each other in, in a way that other people in the town haven't. Um, Kaya's, you know, family abandoning her and, and the rest of the town shunning her. She finds solace in, in this guy who, you know, is also broken himself with the things that have gone on in his past um, and putting those broken pieces aside and getting to really, um, I don't know, o open your heart to someone again for the first time. and. And, and trusting them is, is really beautiful because after you've been hurt or abandoned, you don't really want to do it again. And they both uh, they both hold room for each other, which I thought was beautiful. Yeah, the trust there. But, you know, Kai is played by Daisy Edgar Jones. And I know you guys have a great friendship. You yeah. know, you worked hard on that on set. And obviously that chemistry showed on screen. But would you say this chemistry and this friendship came naturally with you two right when you started or yeah. the work in progress? No, it was like instantaneous. It was hard because when we were over the chemistry, it's hard to, I mean, it's like right now, you're trying to figure out um, someone over some megapixels, but you could just, she exudes a sense of, of like kindness and, and curiosity and wonder. And um, even on the chemistry, I was just like, I, I like this girl. Like, I, I don't know her yet, but like, I know I'm, I'm gonna like her. And, um, as soon as we met for the first day on set, she like ran over and like jumped on me and gave me a big hug. I'm like, we're going to be best friends. I, I love that. Tell. Yeah. Now, what would you say your relationship with her now is? Is it, you know, are you guys texting buddy? Oh yeah. 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 We still talk all the time. She sends the cutest little voice notes and her little British accent. Um, <laughs> she's just so sweet. And, uh, it's fun to like cheer each other on for our next projects and like keep tabs and, um, yeah, I, she'll be in my life forever. I think she's wonderful. I love that. That's awesome. But, you know, Taylor, looking at this book, beloved Delia Owens best selling novel book, do you think this movie is doing the book justice? This is for the book lovers watching yeah. this. A hundred percent. Absolutely. Um, I mean, Delia's writing, first of all, so like cinematic and evocative that it needs to be turned into a movie. Um, mm. She just needed to find like the right crew to do it. And Reese wanted to make sure and, and Hello Sunshine wanted to make sure that this movie was such a loyal adaptation to the book because everyone's going to have an opinion. Everyone creates the movie in their mind before they go and see it. And right. to find out that it, it really matched up for, for people that love the book is, is such a wonderful reprieve from like the, are they going to love it? Are they going to love it as much as we did? And uh, yeah, I, I don't think you could have a better crew putting this movie together. Now, talking about Reese, Reese Witherspoon played a part in this, you know, so was it ever nerve wracking for you, you know, when Reese Witherspoon was on set watching you? Were you ever like, oh my goodness, this is Reese Witherspoon watching me? I mean, it, it's it's very <laughs> surreal. I don't know if I was nervous per se, but I'm like, I, I just kept like glancing over like, she's here, isn't she? Like, it just, it's wild, you know? Um, you grew up watching like Legally Blonde and, and you know, Wild and all these incredible right, movies that right. she's in. And you're like, she's, she's here on set and she's producing the movie that I get to work on. It's just so cool. It's not it's nervous, more of like, 
in awe. Absolutely. Now, I do know there was another really cool, iconic person working on this, and I know you're a Swifty yourself. So Taylor <laughs> Swift did write her original for this song. So yeah. was this a surprise to you or did you get a chance to meet her? Tell us about that. No. So it, what was crazy is that we all kind of found out around the same time. Uh, I don't know how Sony and, you know, Libby and we just kept it under wraps, but everybody found out around the same time that, that she had written a song. And uh, I didn't know they were in talks to do that. And I found out that they weren't. And Taylor was just so inspired by the book um, that she was like, I want to write you guys an original song. She used instruments that were before, um, like on or before the time period. So the, the sound was natural. She recorded it all herself and basically sent it over as a gift saying, this movie inspired me. And I want to help you guys out if I can. And I mean, the movie, wouldn't be the same without, without the song at the end. It's just haunting and, and beautiful. And Taylor did an incredible job. Everything just came so well together in this movie. But really quick, last question for me. But, you know, when the fans and viewers watch Where the Crawdads Sing, you know, for you, what do you hope that they take from this movie? I just hope this this is an adventure for them like it was for us. It's just this beautiful romance, um, you know, this murder mystery, this whodunit. I hope they get to escape their life for an hour and a half, two hours, and, and uh, lose yourself in the story. And for people that, you know, have read the, the book, I, I know they're going to be really proud of it, and uh, they're going to um, be happy with the way it turned out. Absolutely. I am such a fan of you. I'm such a fan of your character, <laughs> Tate, and a fan of this movie. So thank you so much for your time today. Thank you so much. Good to see you. Absolutely. Nice to meet you. And for everyone at home, make sure you guys are catching Taylor John Smith and Where the Crawdads Sing, available on digital and Blu-ray DVD now. Taylor, thank you so much. Thank you. Bye.